Hi everybody, we're back finishing this striker off. Gosh, felt like a long one, hasn't it? <laughs> and, uh, so, uh, Chris, I'll leave that to you. Yeah, well, we'll come back in the workshop, garage come workshop. Uh, hopefully it's a bit warmer, the sun's out now, and we've got an extra hour, it's uh, six o'clock at night, believe it or not, and the sun's out, so we're into British summertime, and um, gives us longer days to mess about with. I can stay out of the house, you see, and play. You can. Um, right, what we're gonna do tonight, we're gonna attach the backboard, to the bottom box we've already done this in a previous episode put the lip on so it slots in um, what we're going to do today well, that's upside down isn't it or it's on its um i, I put it upside down i've rested it because we've I, I'm, i'll be honest i'm building two of these i've used the other one because it's the same height yeah. this is a thing you could use a, a cardboard box or something so we put it on we put a, a little bit of a, a packing thing so there's a bit of a gap if you can see there in between just what it does when you're trying to get the backboard off it doesn't make it as tight you see once it's had paint on and everything if you do it too tight like that you can't get it off when you twisted it so a little bit of packing like that uh -huh. just lifts it off then we get these strap hinges what we told you about earlier on um what we're going to do we're going to um put these in place at the moment and somewhere found it pen we go round we mark where our strap hinge is going to go. The top of the strap hinge, can you see there? It goes no, uh, on, on that lip, sorry. To put the oh, sorry, folks. That's all right. But, like. Yeah, no wonder the BBC got rid of you. <laughs> That's right. So we go around, we mark it with our marker pen. Keep it nice and tight. Oops. Like that. Um, what I've done to make things easier, just drill a little pilot hole in each of the holes where we've marked. Makes the screws going a bit easier. Don't ask me what size, I think it's a, about a 1.5mm one, 1. drill, it's quite small. Anyway, get the said hinge. Put one of the screws in at the centre top first, keeping the hinge nice and tightly against, like that, you see. Then we put one in the centre of like this, kind of pulls it all together. What I'm going to do, I'm going to screw them all up and then what we do in a minute, we take it all apart. <laughs> take your hands off then. Yeah, yeah it's quite sharp <laughs> these screws. Just so we can get thing. So those two not as flush as the middle one, is that correct? There's what, sorry? The screws aren't quite I'm going to take them all out again in a minute. Ah, right, yeah, you we're going to have to set, We've got to dismantle it in a minute. Yeah. Because what we do, we, um, we we split the hinges, we do. We get the grinder and we cut them. And we put pins through them. I think you've lost something as usual. Yes, um, I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> so, I'll be back in a minute. I'll just unscrew this and then I'll show you. It'll be a second, okay? Right, now we've dismantled it all. We took the backboard off. And we're going to just move this out of the way. The idea is we're going to split these hinges. And this is what the finished product looks like. We cut them with the grinder. And then I think I admitted to say you need a couple of uh, large temp pegs or a bit of bar. If you go to your local steel supplier, once you cut these, I'm sure they'll help you out with a bit of thing. They go through there, you see. Yep. So it makes it transportable really, it comes apart, it separates the back flash from the box. So, we get our hinge, go out right with that, just do this briefly. Safety goggles on, what we're going to do, we're going to cut there and cut there with the grinder. I think the best way to turn it around actually. Do it that way. Yeah, that's better. I can see now. Yeah, see now. 
Do the sparks fly? Yeah. So, get the grinder. You all right there, love? Well, which way are these sparks? I'm going to they'll probably go towards me. Right. <laughs> Famous last words, eh, listeners? Yeah, I'll just move my phone out of the way in case we get a pitted screen. Right, <laughs> off we go then. So I've just moved there for you to see. You're not sparky. A bit close for comfort. Right, we'll try again. Yes. Uh, what I would say is, if you don't like using an angle grinder, we've got a good old trusty uh, hacksaw. If you want to cut it with a hacksaw, you can do exactly the same job. It just takes a bit longer. Uh -huh. The good thing about this is, because the thickness of the blade, it just cuts a bit off, uh, and uh, so it just makes it a little bit sloppy. So you've got a little bit of movement, so you might have to get a, a file on it if you're cutting it with a hacksaw, because obviously the hacksaw blade's a bit thinner than this when it cuts it. Right, off we go again. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, that's it. No more sparks. Good. Give them a tap, hopefully. Hang on, let's go and get in there now. Sometimes you give them a tap, but the centre pin, the pin will come out if you give it a tap. There you go, watch it out. See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, the tap peg bit, yeah. No, the, the, the pin of the hinge will come out. Oh, right, yeah. Like that. Sometimes they're quite solid. You might have to get a, a centre punch on them or whatever, or a long, long thin bolt. But that's basically what it's done. It's split the hinge, pin goes through there. And then we reattach that to the back flash and to the bottom box. Right, okie doke. And then after that, we'd be putting the arm in. Yeah. And um, attach. I think we've attached the bell already. And uh, oh, we'll be um, we'll be putting the pin in as well. We'll hopefully get a ringing bell. Great. And then it'll all be down to art, then, will it? And it's all down to the painting, then. Yeah, which is a nice, easy bit. Really, oh my goodness, for that, no sparks hit us. Yeah, well, I was all right. Didn't get me. So I'm going to link the next video onto this video, just so everybody sees it's yeah. nice and fluid. And so, then the video after this will be the art one. So we try, like I say, we try and make them nice and substantial, so they're, they're rugged, and we take a good pounding and everything. And um, you know, there's no point in using flim flimsy little hinges. Um, no. Use, get good quality ones. And good quality you. temp pegs, eh? Temp pegs, yeah, or bits of, yeah. I'll add that to the list. Yeah, another thing we've had to the list, yeah. Right, it's then. such a long time since I've made these. It's just off memory, really. So, for the listener, you'll be back any second, uh, uh, but I'm off for a cuppa. Bye. Yeah, for a cuppa. <laughs> see, you, see you soon. Right, what we're going to do now, we've, we've uh, assembled the arm, like I said, um, we put washers in between just the space and tightened it up because you need a little bit of slack if there's no slack it doesn't it'll jam sometimes we take them washers out after we finished okay so and then what we do we get a piece of three quarter 18 mil ply sit that on it and then we drill the four holes we've already pre-drilled i'll move back to give you a bit of space and then and what it does it makes the arm go up a little bit extra you see yeah gives it a little bit more leverage and leverage, leverage. Yeah, aluminum, aluminium. <laughs> That's right. So it goes in there. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on the floor now. Yeah. Um, draw around where the holes are, then we'll drill it. Okay. Right, we're going to attach a back flash now. You probably noticed we've been doing a little bit of decorating. Basically, the video might, might sound a, a little bit mixed up, but what it was, the weather was that cold in here, it was freezing. I uh, had a couple of days on the kitchen table doing a bit of artwork and keeping warm. So I thought I'd do the artwork and then we'd come back in and I was going a little bit warmer and we'd finish the striker off. So I'm going to pin it to the, the bottom box. And if I could just get a word in there, I was going to say, you will see the artwork video. That's the next last video that you'll see. Yeah. So don't worry, we haven't, you know. We haven't missed them. anything. No. We got our trusty temp pegs, as you call them, or bits of steel round barn, and just pop them in there. Same on the other side. Right. Now what we do? We've got a rolling pin. What I've done because we use these for the plunger. I've cut one end off, and. Um, 
I've got my phone handy here with a torch on it. What I'm going to do is line it all up. This is very important, this. Right. Because if you don't get this bit right, it won't work. On your knees, is it? On my knees, yeah, begging again. So, the pin. This has got to be as central as you can get it. Mm -hmm. And it wants to be about two millimetres or so, just away from that, that track in there. Right, okay. Just like that. Yep. And we, I've got my phone. Now, if you put your camera down that hole there, you, you'll be able to see. Hello. Hello, yeah. So that's where that's going. That goes there like that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So what I'm going to do a pen here. If you'd like to come over here and just have a look at me, your camera. Oh, sorry about that, viewers. I've lost my little uh, gimbal. We've got these four 8mm holes. I'm just going to go around with a marker pen. And hopefully, you should be able to see them when I bring it back out. I'm going to put it back on the bench in a second. Yeah. So I'm just going to uh, disconnect it all and... Uh, when we get the drill out, okay? Yeah. And from what I believe, from what people tell me, that's the, the hardest bit for people to do, isn't it? Yeah. Getting the arm in to work. Yeah, so while Chris is doing that, do not worry at all about the artwork. Uh, that's going to be on the next. And you'll all be glad to hear the final video. Woohoo! And then you'll have a... If you followed it along... Should have a fully working striker. If not, don't complain to me, complain to the management. All right, love. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Just turn my torch off before my battery goes flat. Well, Android, innit? What's not going to do with it? This way, I'm going to see the little. Uh, There's four little marks in there. Somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. Do you think you would have been better with chalk or something? I think if you move out of the way, I could see them there. I can't see them. Oh, I can just about yeah. see them now, yeah. Light, Actually, it? I can probably get in better that way, yeah. That's it, I can see them now. There they are. There's one there. Yeah. One there. One there. And one there. One there. Great. I'm just going to get a small drill. Just pilot hold them. So for those uninitiated, what does pilot hole mean? Well, it's just a smaller thing, just to make sure you get things central. Can you just move over that way a bit? Because you're blocking the light, thank you guys, lovely, thank you. So, I'm just going to pilot to see these like you say probably would have been better with chalk or something yeah because we're not really I've seeing gone, an awful lot here to I've be honest and, um, put black paint on the thingy on the so now we've done the pilot thing we're doing the proper drilling yeah, yeah? Drill the, drill the proper drilling yes well, <laughs> you can see the four pilot holes we've made pilot holes that's right um, we've got our eight mil drill because that's the size of the bolts we're using Dust down. Take it round the other way. Got our bolts. Okay. Yeah, put the four bolts in, just gonna give them a tap. And because they're coach bolts, they'll uh, they they won't turn, they'll be they've got a square on the bottom, I'll show you on this one. As you tighten them up, they pull through on what square, so as you tighten them or not, it'll stop it from turning. Okay. With a bit of luck, or a lot of luck, we get our plates. 
should just slot on. It should just slot on. Bit of a wiggle. Bit of a wiggle, or more than a wiggle. Can I just get up behind my please? Just a slight tap here and there. Listening with headphones on. So that's that. Uh, up. Yep. Got through there. Let's see where. Little tap. Tap. Lovely. And what I'm going to do before we bolt it all up, I'm just going to loosen it off a touch. Right. Um, and why is that? Then we can see if it's working correctly. Ah, right. In the right place. Yeah. But it's not. It's not. It's in the uh, the rail going up the back flash. I mean, once you've built the actual strike, you, I take you don't really bother with this again, do you? Well, sometimes you, re, uh, you you give it a bit of a grease or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's going up and down like that. Yeah. And, um... Oh, yeah, you trust the uh, rolling pin? Trust your rolling pin and it's going up and down like that, you see? Yeah, you can probably see it in the box, the pin hitting it. Yeah, yeah. Like that. yeah. Right, then I'm going to pop it back on the floor. Yeah. So you play about and keep checking things that we're all in line and once you get it right, Bob's your uncle. I want to do the back flash. The more you use it, the easier the back flash goes on. It's obviously because of... Yeah, it's lined fresh, up nicely, that, isn't it? Fresh paints and what have you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming it just eases itself in after a while. Does it expand much when it's out in the rain or not too bad? Uh, not too bad, that's why we give everything proper paint, we don't bother with acrylic. Yeah. It's acrylic lasts two minutes outside, it starts rubbing off in the rain. And there's the tent pegs going back on it. On either side. I mean, it's quite a quick setup once it's going, isn't it? Yes. So we put our rolling pin in, if you'd like to come here, please. Go and just check it. But it's not catching, you see that bit there, see it's yeah. imperative but it's not putting it. I'll just get the mouse. Yeah, and see if that all works. Well it's not gonna work yet because I'm not I'm not bolted it up, but what, oh, I'm, right. what I'm showing is the mouse is down the track. Yeah. And because we leave a lip on the mouse, yeah, it doesn't go beyond I've seen some strikers and the mouse if you hit it too hard, the mouse goes to the bottom with this because it's got a good lip on it. Oh, it shouldn't just fall to yeah, the bottom. Um, yeah, because um, I remember some of the earlier strikers we did didn't have a big lip on it and they kept having to re-flick it, didn't did, we? Yes, it's... Uh, it's well, as you learn as you go along the job, that was, not it? It's all part of the manufacturing process. So I'm going to lift it up now, bolt it on, and then um, I'll be back with you in a minute. I'll just Okay, okay sounds good. Yeah. Right, what we've done, we've uh, taken it out of the box, disassembled it, because like I said, we took away the spacing washers. So we're going to reassemble it now. We're going to put a bit of grease on it, just common garden grease. Just to help stop the wear and tear, what have you. Put a bit on there. A bit through there. And help it put the bolt the right way around. There you go, like that. Get a bit more grease. Smear where the bolt goes through. Same on the other side. Ugh. And, um, I'm not into grease. <laughs> yeah, but you use it on your face, so you know, wall paint, that's grease, isn't it? No, it is not <laughs> grease, it's high quality moisturiser, should you must know. Yeah, with a grease content. So, a bit on here as well. Yeah. Put that on there, like that. A bit of kitchen towel on there. Then. On this one, just pop a washer on there. It's a bit of a spacer, and then uh, just look for the right nut. I've never done with me nuts. People will be laughing. Got a nut somewhere. Is it yes. over here? There's a couple of nuts. Well, one of them will do. It's the same thing. Yeah. 
I hope you're more organised, listener. <laughs> we'll put the nuts on there. Yep. So it is now. Tighten this back up. I can see where the arm is the trick for most people because a lot of people don't make strikers because of this bit, don't they? That's right. Some people make them out of wood. Well, I mean, if you make it, you know, you've got a good quality oak or something like that, you can do it. Yeah. Um, if you look at it on, on YouTube and what have you, see, so it's just a little bit of play in it. Yeah. Right, up a little touch more. Um, look on YouTube at the American ones, they use like a plank and they whack it so it's on the floor, you know. Alright. So, anyway, with a bit of luck, you can pop that back in there, pop it on there. Let's find my hammer, where's my hammer gone, love? There it is, thank you. I'm about as organised as a, I don't know what, tap there. That's it. Lovely. That, lovely job, lovely, as you say. Then we got four of these, I think they're 13 mil locking nuts or whatever they are. And or what are you doing again? Putting them on the top, are you? Yeah, use locking nuts. Do you... Oh, I, yeah. Uh... Otherwise, it'll, if you just put normal nuts on. You can see it there. Yeah. If you put normal nuts on, it'll come off. Right, okay. 10 minutes of using it, probably. Right, can I just get my spanner please? It won't be a second. But I've kind of cheated a bit. I've got all my extension leads. <laughs> not not leads, extension bars all, yeah. all on one thing because it makes it a lot quicker to fasten these up. I'll tell you what I will do before we start. Let's see, get this out of the way, the grease. We just need to give these bolts in. Oh yeah, tap, tap them on, in. You see, so we can. And hopefully, start tightening them. We shouldn't be turning. There you go. Oh, lovely. So we do all them four bolts up, and then we'll be putting it back down on the floor, and we'll be checking to see if it's working. And you screw them down tightly or yeah, just... Yeah, tight as they'll go. Yeah. Let's say nylon locking nuts and they shouldn't come loose. Lovely. So... It's going up and down. Good. Here's one I've made earlier, a pin. Oh yeah, with a little black belt. Size, yeah. And you it. What we do... We get the pin, obviously, they come with a, it's a rolling pin, so it's got web on each end, you see. Yeah. Cut one end off, then pop it there, we push it right down. Yeah. And we just turn it, get a pencil, can you see my pencil? Uh, well, 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 you'll be able to move your hand, because... I've got the pencil mark there. Yeah. And then what we do, we cut it. Hang on a sec, because you're out of focus. We cut it about that away from there. Uh, yeah, okay. So then. what happens is when it goes down, it goes goes below there. If it if it if you if you leave it too long, what it'll do? It'll bend the arm, you see, because it won't go down far enough. Okay. So. So you need to end up with a piece about that size. Like that. See how it's just just goes below. Yeah. See that. And. Um, and that's it, is it? Well. Nearly. Just pop the 
back flash on this again. This is why this because we've not tested it or anything, so yeah. it either works or it doesn't. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. And then alongside the artwork on the next video, which is the last, as I say, uh, we'll show you how to build this up properly so it doesn't take long at all. No, so we put the peg in, yeah. quite a trusty hammer. Yep. We put the mouse on. Put the mouse on before you put the top bit on. Right. So it just slides down there. Yep. And uh, I'll move to one side. Can yeah, you get it? Yeah, I've got it down. There you go, it's working anyway. Excuse my language, folks. <laughs> it's been like to pop like champagne. <laughs> That's it, we'll give it one more go. That'll do. There you right. go, bingo. There you so, go. So, obviously, when that bit's on, we'll take it outside in a bit and we'll do a film of it building. That'll up. be for the next video, though. Yeah. That's the last video. So, say to her for now, then. Yeah, we have a thing. Oh, sorry. You just screw your top back on, obviously, what we made earlier. Yep. That screws on there, like that. The other thing, I, it's an optional extra. Um, Is this important for this video or for next what's video? It, it's, it's, it's part of this one. Oh. If you want to make them, we make a leg what goes along the bottom. Oh, right, yeah, for stability. You don't have to. I mean, the weight of that normally stops it from going anywhere. Yeah. Um, approximately three foot. Uh, 50 mil by 50 mil, and um, we just drill the hole so we're just on the inside and we bolt it through. Yeah, we haven't mentioned how to make that on the video though, so that's no, just well, an optional it extra. To, it's easy yeah. to make, it's just a, basically a three foot piece of timber, all the way about a meter. There you are, three foot, mm -hmm. just some off cuts, and um. And that goes to the rear of it, doesn't it? It goes, it goes in the bottom of the... Like I say, a lot of people don't bother using them, it's up to you. Yeah. So it's just if you get a windy day. Are you going to show them or can I say tra to everybody now then? Well, it just bolts through there. When I'm setting it up, I'll show you how yeah, it Yeah, I it think up, so. Okay? Right, take care for now and right. see you on the last video. Woohoo, we're so close. Bye. <laughs>